In this video, I'll show you how to solve a distance, time, speed problem using linear algebra. The question reads, a canoeist took two hours to travel 12 kilometers down a river. The return trip against the current took three hours. What was the average paddling rate of the canoeist? What was the speed of the current? So we have two scenarios here. We have one where the canoeist is paddling with the current and a scenario where he's paddling against the current and this leads to the difference in time. In addition, we know that this is a distance time speed problem. That being said, one of the prerequisites to answering this question is to know what the speed is, the speed formula. And speed is equal to distance over time. So let's draw up a scenario when he's with the current. When he's with the current, his speed, the distance is 12, and the time is 2. And his speed is made up of two parts, his personal speed and the speed of the current. So this S should be replaced with his personal speed plus the speed of the current gives you 12 over 2. That's when he's going with the current. Now when he's going against the current, you have S is equal to 12 over 3. Now the distance stays the same, but the time changes, and this time he's using his personal speed, but since he's going against the current, it's minus C is equal to 12 over 3. That being said, we can simplify both of these equations. P plus C is equal to 6 and P minus C is equal to 4. I'm going to highlight these two. And by solving for P, we find out his average paddling rate. And by solving for C, we find out the speed of the current. You can use multiple methods to find out P and C. I've shown in two separate videos how to solve a linear system using addition and subtraction and I've also shown how to solve it using substitution and in our case the best method would be substitution and the way we would do this is we would if we want to isolate for P first we would rearrange this formula so that it looks like this P minus 4 is equal to C what I did was I brought this C over and I brought this 4 over and now we have something that C is equal to P minus 4. And I'm going to place this into my second formula. So P plus this is equal to 6. And now I will simplify this equation. P plus P is equal to 2P minus 4 is equal to 6. 6 plus 4, I'm just bringing this 4 over, is equal to 2p. 2p is equal to 10, and therefore p is equal to 5. Divide both sides by 2. So we found our p value, his personal speed, of 5 kilometers per hour. And now let's find out the current speed. You can use any of these two formulas here, either this one or this one. I'm going to use this one next. I'm just going to write, put an arrow here. P minus C is equal to 4. We found out that P is equal to 5 minus C. Bring the 4 over, bring the C over. 5 minus 4 is equal to positive C. And the current speed is 1 kilometer per hour. So let's conclude. Therefore, his personal speed is 5 kilometers an hour, and the speed of the current 
is one kilometer an hour. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.